Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. And thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and to help you know God for yourself in the name of Jesus. If this is the first time you are seeing me and you are not yet a part of this community, it means if you're not yet subscribed please kindly do that right now and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live whenever there is a new content you will be the first to know hallelujah god bless you your enemy is coming with a bribe they desperately need your forgiveness someone that hurts you so much is coming with a bribe in their hands because they desperately need your forgiveness the lord told me give me this prophetic word and said there is no one that hurts you that will go away scot-free there is no one that will do you harm that will live with a free conscience and they'll just go about their lives like nothing happened like they did not hurt anyone it doesn't matter how successful they get it doesn't matter how it seems like life is treating them well there is a point in their life where god has helped them and that they cannot have peace until they are at peace with you and at this point they they are aware of the 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 grievous thing they did against you and they have been asking how to make things right they badly want your forgiveness but they don't know even know how to approach you because they really did hurt you they really did hurt you when the lord gave me this prophetic word he reminded me of the story of esau and jacob you know when esau played the fast when jacob played the fast one on esau and got his parental blessing and got the blessing from the father he was so angry Esau was so angry and Jacob fled from the house to Laban's house to his uncle's place and that is how the rift between the brothers developed they had not seen themselves for a very long time and even though God was blessing Jacob at Laban's house and even when he had his independence, there was just something in him. There was just a guilt that was in him. And he knew he had to make peace with his brother. He knew something was not right and he had to make peace. But he was scared because he did not know how his brother would take it. He did not know if he would be able to face his brother without his brother trying to kill him. And so he went, sent his his wives ahead and sent... Um, cattle properties to his brothers as a peace offering but his brother is how god had blessed him as well yes he did not have his father's blessings but god had blessed him and esau told him keep your blessings i don't need them i'm going to forgive you not because you have given me these things because god has blessed me i don't need your material i don't need you to bribe me to forgive you i am ready to do that and Jacob was ready to give all of those things because he just wanted to be at peace with his brother. God is putting that kind of a burden in the, in the heart of someone that hurt you so bad. They would want to do any and everything just to have peace with you. They would go under and beyond just to have you in talking terms because God has taken away their peace. It doesn't matter how far they are going in life. It doesn't matter their achievements. They will not have complete peace until they have made peace with you. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.